So what we have is uh, Nomad and Tippins is the inspiration from our Imagineering team. Uh, what they've done is they've created a concept that surrounds their travels through Asia, Africa, and South America. One thing that we have for the person the naming here is a tiffin is an actual Indian snack. This is the vessel that that snack would have come with that the Imagineering team thought was kind of neat to bring to life. Uh, we're to serve our bread in the course of that at Tiffin's. In addition to that, uh, the menu within both of the locations focuses on uh, cuisines and flavors from Asia, Africa, and South America. A couple of the highlights that I have in Nomad would be a nice little uh, pork rib, a little bit of a honey glaze with some spices on that. And then over in Tiffin's, I love our grilled octopus, and then also the Wagyu strip sterling with a little bit of short rib on there. And then to enjoy that, we can start with the course of some wines here. We have wines coming from Africa, Argentina, and Chile. Working with our Imagineering team, we went to Joe Rohde, who was the inspiration behind Animal Kingdom, and we said to him, Joe, we're having a really hard time finding ales, which have become very popular uh, in the craft beer area uh, or, or flavors across the United States, so we can't find money, so we want to make our own, and we'd love your ideas about what we can name it, and he says, well, we're going to call it the Congaloo Spice Excursion Ale, little reference to the course of Joe's original uh, creation at the Adventurers Club at Pleasure Island. Uh, so we went with a uh, local brewery from uh, Miami to help us with uh, creating this flavor. It's called Concrete Beach. And what here you'll have is a brown ale. And then our culinary team gave those brewers uh, a little bit of inspiration by saying, hey, here are the spices along the uh, Asian African spice trails that we're looking. So we have essence of uh, cinnamon, coriander, little peppercorns that work their way into the course of the flavor around that ale. And then we finished the uh, dining experience with, of course, some great coffee. Here we have an Ethiopian single origin coffee that was created by Joffrey's Coffee over in the, uh, Tampa for us. And then in addition to that, they created one of our ingredients for our highlighted uh, beverage that we have at Nomad, which is called the... the uh, it's our uh, little bit of a, a monkey. Uh, it's a, a, a monkey dish, uh, Mustang coffee that we call it here. The Mustang coffee. It's an area in the course of Nepal, Nepal that the Imagineering team came across, and there we wind up having a little bit of Crown Royal with our coffee. In addition to that, we have the Night Monkey. Since we're going to be open a little later here, we came up with this little uh, coffee drink that has essence of Bacardi rum in it. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of guava. It's a nice little cocktail to keep you nice and refreshed. The Imagineering team says that along their travels, they find them seeing monkeys all over the place. So that's how we get the inspiration for the name of the Night Monkey. How you got you obviously guys did a lot of travel. How important was it to make this as authentic as possible? I think what we try to do, just like the Imagineering team tries to bring things to life in regards to all of our visual aesthetics and ambiance, we ourselves also love to talk about the aromas, flavors, textures, uh, different cuisines or beverages that really are indigenous or authentic because that's what really uh, we believe our guests truly enjoy and they appreciate. What's fortunate is not everyone's going to have a chance to get to Asia or Africa or South America. So people can come here and have a little bit of the, those flavors and have a little enticement of what they could experience if they were to make those travels. Uh, and we use that uh, through all of our inspirations for a lot of our locations throughout uh, Walt Disney World and Disneyland. And you mentioned um, that even down to the menus, there is that authentic flair. Can, can you share a little bit about the inspiration for the actual menus? So the actual menus are basically what we'd say would be like sketchbooks. So Tiffin's, when you travel in there, you can actually see that the Imagineer team has put on display a lot of the sketch pads uh, for what they sketched uh, to re remember their uh, inspiration for the course of the location. So we have our menus are displayed in the course of these nice little uh, leather books here. Here's the course of our dessert menu, but we have a dinner menu. Our wine list is all, all with this uh, kind of feel to it. So as you open, then you can page yourself through the course of uh, our different uh, menu offerings that we have here. 
Then we have, in addition to that, uh, throughout the restaurant, we got some nice glassware, china, and silverware. Uh, but really, what you really get to see is when you walk into like our grand gallery, you can see a little bit of the carvings that were used for the course of developing the tree of life here. What I like about that is we bring one of our cocktails together that's called the Boba Rita. The Boba Rita starts off uh, when we were thinking of this idea. Uh, we were told that Imagineers went through Oaxaca, Mexico, and I said, wow, Mezcal, which is one of these popular spirits, is actually origins are in Oaxaca, and margaritas on a nice hot day here at Animal Kingdom, it's nice and refreshing. So we get the tie-in of these inspiration off these carvings from Oaxaca with the local spirit to make a margarita that people could enjoy. And then we tied it into this little neat name called the Boba Rita. As the Imagineers were traveling through Brazil down the Amazon, they wound up seeing these dolphins that were locally called Boba. And that's how we get the inspiration of these whole stories uh, coming all together with a unique little beverage. Oh, I love that. And it sounds like you've really upped the ante for both uh, beverage and dining here at Animal Kingdom, haven't you? Without a doubt. We've never had a full-service lounge uh, that the guests get to enjoy. Uh, the lounge, nice comforting uh, location. We have a nice little outdoor deck for people to enjoy with some nice little soft uh, lounge seating that we have. And then within the restaurant as well, we'll have this full experience so that you can come in and enjoy uh, fantastic appetizers, entrees, and desserts, and a gorgeous set. And do you have any favorite dishes thus far or things that somebody should just absolutely not miss if they're only going to be able to dine there once? Uh, if you're only going to dine once, if you're at Tiffin's, grilled octopus is sensational. The guests have been really enjoying so far during our test experiences. For entrees, if you like fish, we have a beautiful uh, miso glazed uh, black cod dish. And then if you're a beef lover, Wagyu strip sirloin with the short rib is to die for.